Hi everybody, this is Ms. Fisher and I thought I would make a tutorial on how to correctly label your responses. There seems to be some confusion on how to label um, your replies to your fellow classmates in the discussion board. Okay, first thing um, you want to do is when you go to the discussion board, I'm just going to go to introductions. And I'll just pick somebody. I'll do Tony. Okay. So if I was going to reply to Tony, I would hit reply. And then you'll notice the box down here, you can type in it. So here is where you would want to put the correct title. Okay. You could, I would put Fisher's response to. Okay. Or even if you want to take this off, you can and just put Fisher's response. I'd even take, you don't have to have the apostrophe S, Fisher response. Okay. And then you can go type your response in. And that that's that's how you do it. Um, some things I just want to make sure we bring to, I wanted to bring to everybody's attention. In the course instructions, um, it does say that your original posts need to be 200 to 400 words. Okay, so make sure um, that your original posts are of that length. And then when it comes to replies, I'm looking for more depth and insightfulness versus how many um, responses you can do. I want your responses um, to be, you know, insightful. I want them to... Um, question. I want you guys to question each other. Um, you know, you don't always have to be in agreement um, with your fellow classmate, and you know, there's always a professional way to express that. Um, so, again, I'd rather your responses be um, have some depth to them instead of just responding a lot. Okay. Now, if you look at, and this is where the detailed rubric is. And this is where you can see how um, in detail I put points out there, okay? And you'll see right here, it clearly states how you need to do your first original, in, uh, how you need to label your entry, okay? And then if you scroll down, right here it gives the response of you need to put your surname, which is minus Fisher, and then response, okay? So again, um, if you haven't read the detailed rubric um, for discussion board, uh, please do so. It is um, very helpful. If you have further questions, please let me know. I hope everybody's having a great week, and have a good evening.